Spaghetti rugs. For the first time Thank you ever, for the $3. in Civilization 7, the story of your empire isn't just that of a single Civ, but several connected together through time. No. At the dawn of each new age of human advancement, you'll select a new Civ. No! You'll build on and carry forward your previous achievements. No! New gameplay bonuses to reinforce or pivot your strategy. Hello, Mondom. By the end, you'll have forged a unique path through history. To show you what we mean, we'll ah. take you through the story of one such empire. Are you kidding me? A plantation. How do you look at humankind and go, we should copy that? We pursue advancements in technology to serve the needs of our people. Oh, that research tree looks like crap. In irrigation further enhance our food production. Really I swear to God, if Egypt involves into France, I'm skipping this game. Power. I'm not playing it. I'm not in playing Humankind 2.0. over time, as friendly relations begin to form. And peace does not dampen our ambitions. Yep, they want people to stick in Civ 5. God damn it. What? Ed Beach is the creative director? Get rid of him. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. continue to expand and explore the continent, we feel the pages of history turn as the age of antiquity comes to a close. Don't do it. Don't do it. advancement approaches. The age of exploration don't do it a new age brings forth new challenges and new opportunities new technologies to research new resources to acquire new lands to explore if we are to take on the challenges of this new age we must adapt and select a new civilization to represent our empire. One that is better equipped to take on the challenges of the exploration age. This new civilization builds on top of its past legacy. And our actions in this age will inevitably influence a future yet to come. Other is this the biggest the idiot working in video games? Every age Between Civ 6 and now this sandbox. shit? As a way to really immerse yourself. Is Ed Beach time. the biggest fucking moron Almost to work in fucking video games? I can't fucking believe this. Age. Yeah, when why why can't you have you different age transition rulers of the Civ at different eras? Like what the fuck? You'll select a new civilization to represent your empire in the new age. You'll choose parts of your past Civ to carry forward into the new one. And the game map literally expands. Filled with new independent powers to befriend. Civ 8 win, yeah. This is skip. This is skip. How do they not? They didn't consult anyone. They didn't talk to a single fan of these fucking games. Holy fucking shit. It looks beautiful. Some players have never seen their cultures represented anywhere else. Those elephants are far too big, but it looks beautiful. pride and joy to be able to see themselves included in the history of the world. Someone in one of my community is excited. An important role in bringing out the spirit and essence of each civilization. Civ 6? No, this looks way better than Civ 6 in every way, shape, and form. we're excited to share that Chris Tin, who composed the Grammy award-winning theme Baba Yetu for Civilization 4, and the main theme for Civilization 6, is returning for Civilization 7. And we cannot wait for you to hear it. I messaged him on Reddit one time. I was like, I love Baba Today Yetu. It was amazing. And he said, thank you back. Look. February 11th, 2025. Isn't too far away. Yeah, you have six months to, to fix the entire game. With you. you have six months to reverse every terrible decision you made. Six months to not turn Civilization 7 into Humankind 2.0. I don't want Sid Meier's Humankind. Nobody wants Sid Meier's humankind. The, it, it, they made the worst possible decision you can make. I have no hope for this. Whatsoever. Here's the issue. When you play Civ, half the fun, almost all of the fun, is tinkering. You're given a bunch of different societies that all have their pros and cons. This is a complete and utter ripoff of humankind. They ripped off a game nobody liked, that nobody played. What the fuck were they thinking? You're supposed to take things.
that are really strong early game and either have a fun early game or see how that can last into late game. You're supposed to take things that are weak early and late game but have a really good timing push in middle and build around that. You're supposed to take things that are really good late and you endure the troubles in there. You're not supposed to constantly be changing to always be powerful in every single age. What the fuck were they thinking? The most they should have done is like, you can start up as King Tut in Egypt and eventually become Anwar Sadat. You can start off as fucking King, uh, fucking, uh, the, what the fuck, the Conqueror, why well, can't I remember his name, and eventually become King George or something like that. You don't just completely swap around. Why have sibs? Why have leaders? What's the point if you can just swap them in and out? What the fuck were they thinking? William the Conqueror, thank you. I was thinking Alfred. What the fuck? were they thinking this is one of the most disappointing things i've ever seen in any video game ever i don't think i've ever went from oh i'm really excited to just bottom line i don't even want to play this now i could just play humankind if i wanted that holy shit if you want to see how this plays go play humankind it's identical